Inside of PDFs, we can select and copy content. We had seen that before. And I'd like to remind us of how to do that once we're inside of the PDF. So I've got a page right here, and I want to select copy using the selection tool. And if I select some content, I can drag across and I can copy that content either by right clicking and saying copy, or I could use the edit menu and copy as well. The selection tool also works on graphical content. So I can select this area right here. You'll notice that it selected the picture and then I can copy that as well if I right click and copy image. You'll notice I could also save the image as. So if I said save image as, I can select that image, remove it from the PDF, and save it into my folder of assets that I might be using for something else. So this is a handy way to get some content out of a PDF, both as text with the same selection tool, simply drag and then copy, or I can drag and then copy on a graphical element as well. I'd like to close up my Pages panel now. So we'll go and hit the Pages panel and close it up. And I'd like to show you another thing that's helpful in measuring inside of a PDF, and that's the rulers. So if we go to the View menu and pull down to Rulers, Command-R or Control-R on a Windows machine, then you see that there are some rulers that will pop out. And these are really handy if you want to know where something is on a page and you don't want to have to print it out and then measure, because we all know that when we print, things can change shape as well. So in this case, what we want to do is to use the rulers to tell us where some things are. It looks like the column of text is lined up at three inches, but I'd like to verify that. If I pull from the left-hand side, click and drag, I can drag out a ruler, and you can see that, oh, it's not exactly at three. It's actually a little bit further out from the page than three inches. So using a ruler, now that I've left the ruler and the guide on there, I can use that later to help me see where that content is. I can also pull down rulers from the top, and let them go and I can see over on the left, if you look over there, keep your eye on number four. Now I can move that ruler and you can see that I get a visual guide over there where the ruler lives. So rulers are another way to help you to see where things are on the page inside of that PDF.